Welcome to my bi-monthly Beyond the Front Door newsletter, where I review real estate market numbers, make announcements, give mindset tips, and talk about anything else I want to talk about in under four minutes. I'm Kathy Neiser, retired teacher realtor with Keller Williams Realty City View, serving Bear County, Kendall County, Colmouth County, Guadalupe County, and Hayes Counties. So here are the recent market updates. I'll show you uh, graphs of the market, the weekly numbers over time. So you can see how while there are ups and downs, nothing has drastically changed in one direction. These graphs are tracking from June of 2024 and they are for residential real estate only. The number of new listings in the last seven days was 951 healthy number of new listings if buyers want a home. The number of new under contract, we call that active option, was 339. That's a little bit lower than it has been. My suspicion is that was because it's election week. We'll see what happens next week. It may continue, but I think then it'll go right back to where it had been. The number of listings closed, the ones that actually closed in the last seven days was 799. Plenty of houses are selling. So all of those numbers have been hover, hovering in those areas for a number of months. No big changes up or down. We'll see what happens with the elections, but from what I see, buyers are still buying, sellers are still selling, and the only ones missing out are the ones who are waiting to see what happens. Here are my upcoming classes and events. Thanks for participating in the Halloween Pet Costume Contest. Watch for our giveaways and um, surprises upcoming. We'll be announcing an educator giveaway for Thanksgiving and we'll announce that next week. So if you're an educator or you know an educator, be watching for that. Share it with them. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. In January, I'll begin holding some home selling, home buying, and real estate investing seminars. Our next video will have a list of the January classes. If any of those sound interesting, we'll be holding them uh, on a repetitive manner. So most fascinating real estate comment I heard from a consumer this last week was, this is a bad time to buy or sell. Well, first of all, I think it's always a good time to buy a good piece of real estate if you're thinking about really the investment that it is for you. This is not a market where you put your home on the market and get to command whatever price you want. Those days are gone. They're not coming back anytime soon. Our inventory is so low. And with the economy the where it is, we are here. So it's a good market to get a home now while others are waiting. Buy down your interest rate, either with your money or concessions. That's how buyers win. Well, sellers can win too. If you want to move, you want to go buy something else and take advantage of that buy market, it's actually a time when sellers can win if they follow the right process. So I've got a video link in the comment called How Sellers Win. You can go to directly to howsellerswin.com to see it. And it's a great video for buyers, for sellers, and for real estate agents who might not know this. My favorite podcast this last week was David Green on Real Talk Real Estate. Now, David Green created the podcast Bigger Pockets for many years. This is his new show, and the first episode was Bed Bugs, Bad Deals, and Beyond. If you have dreams of owning short term or long term rentals, this is the show for you. I highly suggest you watch every episode because he does not sugarcoat it. My favorite mindset quote of the week is stay positive. Some of your best days haven't even happened yet. Hope you have a great week.